escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless... Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. 
What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Be careful, please. Hey, Professor! Damn it! It's just like what happened to us. You think the Professor will be okay? It's high time he stepped up. He's the one in charge. Finally, he's doing the right thing. I'm sure he'll be grateful for your concern. What is this? Maybe you should have gone with him instead of standing here hoping someone else would step up. Back up a little. I could say the same to you. We both had the chance. I'm done with holding everyone's hand. John can take care of himself. You're a real piece of work sometimes, you know that? I have a bad feeling about this. Oh. Are you okay? I lost my bearings. I couldn't see you through the thick fog. Did you see the little girl? I could see you. 
back there. That's really odd, because I sure couldn't see you. Your clothes looked different, and your accent was off. You sounded like an actor in some historical play. It must have been someone else you saw. I teach you. I know you. I recognized your face. Whoever you saw, it wasn't me. Now please stop. You're scaring me. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. Let out, Granny. No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is? We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? Shit. Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. What is it? What's wrong? We saw something moving in there. What exactly are you up to? I'm just taking a look here. 
Isn't this breaking and entering? I won't tell if you don't. Anyhow, there's no one here. You all done with poking around? We should catch up with the professor. He didn't stop to give any lectures here, did he? What kind of place is this? Professor? <gasps> there you are. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. What the hell was that in there? It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? What am I? In second grade? He's right. Get over yourself and move on. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with.
Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at 10 paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Don't strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Uh. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. Are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. talking about get away or he will find me huh? <gasps> oh 
Come on out, Mary. I know very well you're in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here, right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who you played him with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I... I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Let me help you. Shit. I'm real sorry. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. This place must have been a grocery store or something. <sighs> that campaign didn't work out too well. Over here, look at this. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice.
Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Come on, will you? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. How'd you get here anyway? Went around the side, through a fence. So I climbed into this haunted house for nothing. The gap in the fence wasn't so big. You would have got stuck. How is it in there? I got company of the rodent variety. Oh, gross. Relax. They look well fed. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. <sighs> Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. Thank you. 
What troubles you? Tell me. What is happening? Sooner will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about it. The girl, she... She was with this priest. Reverend Carver. The one now beating on our door. Mary. Come now, Mary. Mary? Mary saw me in the woods a day or so back. I was about my daily business, nothing more. There is more to this. Mary does not like me chiding her. Perhaps she's spoken out against me. She has a temper. You suggest the rumours are Mary's doing. She's a troubled child, for sure, but this is beyond her. George, if this ends badly, if you do not open up, you'll be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this, my word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? No, this was different. I think they could see and hear me. It was hard to tell exactly. They seemed really spooked. You see anything else? <sighs> I saw this woman being taken away. Arrested. <sighs> she was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. The woman, Amy. I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. <sighs> We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. 